everyone welcome to my channel where i make blue things and talk about my artistic and scholarly life for this video i'd like to talk about obsession a little bit but before that let me thank you for supporting my channel i now have 20 subscribers which seems like a small number but even this many gives me the motivation to continue Obsession is defined as an idea or thought that continually preoccupies or intrudes uh, on a person's mind. I've been thinking about the meaning of obsession and how well-known artists are actually obsessed with something or someone. Obsessions that led them to becoming who they are. You may not name this obsession, you may call it commitment or perhaps dedication. But what's the difference between them? How do you tell them apart? When it comes to obsessions, I think there is a force. Obsessions are strong. They can lead you to unknown places. And I believe this force makes an individual different from others. Perhaps uh, this force is even capable of making you look, think, create, live, and be in a distinct way. I read that David Hockney is obsessed with the act of seeing things distinctively and ways he can slow down the process of looking for both himself and his audience. That's one of the reasons he uses Polaroid photographs as both his main medium and a tool for studying the world around him and creating photo collages that make you stop and look at them frame by frame. He would spend hours photographing his subjects as one of his friends uh, would say like a mad scientist. For Hockney, it's important that the viewer also spends some time with his photos, the panels, the frames and the layerings of the fragments. He was obsessed with turning the experience of looking at his photographs similar to how one would look at someone or something. In Hockney's view, we can't see the entirety of things at once. Instead, we see things in fragments and then in our brains, we connect the fragments together to create uh, the whole picture. Hockney is also very much obsessed with capturing the essence of time and movement through his photo collages. He sees photography as a tool that he can use for taking numerous photos of and spending lots of time with one subject matter. For Hockney, the photos are never meant to be about his subjects, instead they are about ways of seeing or looking at that subject. He is obsessed with enchanting his viewers' ways of seeing. He is obsessed with compelling them to spend time with his photographs. He really cannot stand short encounters. This is why he believes that with movies, there is no time for looking. Movies are played in a linear time and can only go forward and one needs to constantly adjust their pace with the pace of the movie. Hockney creates juxtapositions in his photo collages in such a way that makes you spend time with each individual frame. Hockney is obsessed with turning each frame into an entry point, a little window for seeing, thinking and lingering. For this video, I wanted to photograph my husband with a new eye. We went outside in search of a blue background. It was very sunny and we started noticing blue objects uh, more than ever before, as if uh, we were observing the world around us through an obsession for the color blue. 
It was interesting to spot dozens of blue cars. We finally found a blue billboard and he stood in front of it so that I could spend time studying him through my camera's lens. Of course, I didn't spend hours photographing him, but I started to realize how each frame could turn into a little window for really seeing him and his macro movements while uh, he tried to stay still. On our way home, uh, we saw a blue wall that was painted all the way to the ground, touching the yellow summer grass. I did another study in front of this uh, second background and I ended up mixing the photographs from both locations to create a new portrait of my husband. I used uh, 14 frames to create this photo collage, 14 little windows to see, pause and study. Putting the pieces together, I wondered about how our obsessions may become frames for us to see the world through. Hockney's ambivalent relationship with photography is very intriguing to me. He had a great distrust in photography as a medium at the beginning. He initially treated it more as a hobby. Although he took hundreds of shots to study his subjects for his drawings and paintings, he didn't want to be known as quote-unquote photographer until he discovered a different way of capturing his subjects through his photo collage. For him, uh, the act of looking couldn't just unfold in one shot. That's why he came up with a way to emphasize how much time goes into looking and how we can train our ways of looking at the world around us. I think about my obsessions throughout these past years. I think about the word commitment. It becomes really interesting when you think of obsession and commitment side by side. It makes me wonder how our commitment to our obsessions may take us to unexpected places. Can you be obsessed and committed at the same time? I have been obsessed with the color blue for a while now, but I'd like to stay committed to this obsession and see where it will take me. Okay, now we are getting to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I would love to hear about your current and past obsessions. Tell me, where did they take you?